Job to continue to have the, the creep near clear from Oh, look at this. The T1 look tower. at this. Up top, GPK. He's already making the move. This is what we saw Topson do in T1 nice series. Yeah, and they scan out the movement entirely. He pushed the wave under the tower. They're going to look to position themselves really defensively. Look at the aggressive glyph. But Tumberman's in trouble. A glyph to not help out. GPK, nice attempt. It was a glimpse to try and send him away. But the aggressive one from Virtus Pro, a great maneuver, even though the scan connected from Liquid. Yeah, they did almost everything right there on Liquid. Maybe just uh, not able to pop that rage quite quickly enough. Didn't see if it was on cooldown or not, but yeah, that's a big win coming through from VP, especially giving it over to DM. Like you were mentioning, didn't have the greatest net worth in the laning phase. actually top. Yeah, but Tumbo and Insanio hit back instantly. Yakota will get a trade. It's a big kill though for at least Liquid to find, kind of stabilizing that previous death. Yeah, for sure. But you still get the experience. Matter where DM makes the sorry where GPK makes the rotation to top side now. You might going be... on Ramses. Okay. The Gala Box is going to try and step in. They do a pretty decent job to break the static link. Not a whole lot of damage that Ramses has been able to soak up. It's like they're still trying to enter though. Yamich gets the avalanche. Will be okay. His box is going to push Ramses away. Another Meanwhile, kill. Top lane though. DM brings down Matamba man. Insania is able to kick back, but. Not getting the core trade onto Visage is really going to continue to hurt the game of the Lifestealer. Oh, and look at this. They're talking about those power runes. He's level 6 on GPK, making the rotation up with his ultimate. Oh, Psycho stealing the oh plasma into the tree throw from Yamich. They're doing Ramses everything might so be well. traced to the tree line. Avalanche going to be able to cover the retreat. Beautifully done. Dude's in trouble. Familiar Sun to the second. The damage is not enough. A really nice attempt from Virtus Pro. The Ancient Seal is always going to prove to be an issue here for the Life Seal as the game continues on. His bottom lane. Rams is inside the cogs at the moment. Zai making sure he plays his distance, not trying to give it an easy static link target. Rams is now forced to try and move over to the clockwork. A beautiful toss under the tower. Box is in trouble. They'll be able to secure with the kill. Zai, first ultimate of the game, should bring down Rams. He's a deep bit of base. I don't he think he's going to take it out. Ramsey's he... popped the fairy fire. He's got the raindrop as well. Meanwhile, top lane, the action continues as Mike. Another rotation with the rolling thunder. They'll get the kill onto Hakoda. Smoke is three. Yamich has got some great positioning. Smoke's going to pop and they'll see the tiny. Not the hero they want to bring down to start. And in fact, Virtus Pro want to take the team fight. They're going to toss Boxy into the middle. Taking a lot of damage at the moment for the clockwork. They haven't secured the kill just yet, but the sole assumption finally enough to bring him down in the end a one for one but liquid do commit multiple ultimates but in the end mickey will still be able to catch up as well with a max out shield crash enough burst to be able to bring down the duo support from virtus pro and again he has the defusal available but look at this by zai he's moved yep. away from the bottom lane went into mid took the tower now suddenly the map is a little bit more open for liquid to play with that's another power rune secured as well for Mickey. Feels like he's got in every single power rune and they're going to look to use it instantly. Onto Hikoda. And one big advantage that Radiant are playing with at the moment as a whole. Again, look at Liquid. They're not done. Yamich looks to enter the lane. He's trying to get a little bit of farm to work towards the Blink Dagger. They see Ramses as well. Zai, if required, might have to drop the ultimate. But Mickey, he's got his own Rolling Thunder to be able to catch back up. Near the high ground to bounce back and forth. It's not even required for the second stun as Liquid go from one kill to the next. They're building up quite the lead here. They are indeed. Yeah. They've been a few too many heroes off the map for too long. So we're just going to sit back, relax. Let us play uh -oh. our timing. We've got the Diffusal Blade. Now we Oxy, can make our move. got the Infest Bomb. They see Ramses. Ancient nice Seal silence. is going to buy him some time. Matumperman's going to continue to move on forward. They've got the vision for the glimpse to cancel the TP. And our Rams is... Oh, he's going to be caught out. No escape for the raise of the prize target once again for Liquid. As it's going to continue to slow down the game from Virtus Pro. Immediately the line's drawn on the map as well, saying, look, I might have died, but they could be... Series might have been back in the group stages where he went for the uh, the Ag shard very early on. So interesting to see kind of the development of Life Seal's item builders. I guess the meta goes on. Yamich, they might dive him. Yeah, Zai with the backstab. This is a big thing, man. The fact that Virtus Pro were getting no kills on their duo support, like this is both Tiny and Sky really rely on getting these kills. You are high burst magic damage heroes, and if you can't blow the supports up, if you can't get towards the blink, it's oh, really going to hinder VP's game. Yeah, top lane. 
Boxy gets the hook shot. Mickey with the follow up as well. Virtus Pro 2 have multiple members nearby as GPK just assassinates the backline. And DM, he's okay. Protected with the Wraith Pack. The damage mitigation is proving to be an issue for Liquid. Can they finally deal with it? Looks like that's going to be the case. But the Mystic Flare not enabling Virtus Pro to turn it around. So they need to cut their losses as GPK is going to dive out of the area. DM will not have the same capability, however. So in the end, a two for two, Virtus Pro do at least get two supports. But, but they didn't lose any towers. You know, even the, the tier one mid still standing. Tier one on the bottom side of the map, and Matu, he's closing in on his Desolator. So that was probably an area of weakness for them, DM. but TP. Again? Virtus Pro were going to try and smoke to get up here, but I don't think DM's going to be healthy enough he's to, to survive for the tower. this long. Trying to get the tower, but the familiars will go down. So Virtus Pro, they need to get something out of this smoke. They will see Insania and Zai shortly. Uh, he's also not easy to blow up. He's got the Wraith Pact if he can chuck it. Oh, the Toss No out of the Mystic Flare. But the use of the Ancient Seal, Static Storm is going to be able to cover the retreat. But Ramsey's on the wraparound. They'll be able to kill off the Venomancer. But Virtus Pro, they need to get out. They use the Poison Oval. Will not enable them oh, to stick around as Boxy is actually being able to catch out Ramses. A BKB won't protect him as the Cog's not enabling him to run up the high gun, so he's going to have to go to the left Open instead. Is here. But a completely wasted BKB, and he'll still end up losing his life. That's the great thing about the open wounds, right? I was mentioning before how it's good to allow... This game starting to get out of hand, and maybe this could be the smoke. And that was their big timing, right? They wanted to have that Blink Dagger with the Mystic Flare combination together as well from the Tiny, and they just didn't accomplish it. Garbage moving Oxy. forward under the cover of smoke. He's in. They've got the infest. He's going to have a lot of bonus health. Metumbaman's going to pop out. A one for one to stop. But they're in trouble now, Virtus Pro. The Delta split comes through. But DM's going to be glimpsed back into the middle. Metumbaman won't have a stun to be able to cancel the Visage TP. So DM will be able to escape. Meanwhile, back up to the left side. Mickey, a solo use of the Rolling Thunder has been able to isolate Yamich on the Tiny. So Liquid in the end will be able to find two. But they've also caught out GPK. It's got a BKB to work with. If required, they're going to drag it back into the Static Storm. There's not much GPK can do to play this one aggressively. He's going to he try and trample away, but the bashes are there, making sure there will be no opportunity as Matumbaman can close the distance and get the right clicks going. It's just those little bit of things of coordination, right? He pops the beacon. And when Liquid try and go for the counter gank, that's when it can really start to have its impact. Boxy might be right... Okay. So he might be right on the money if he kept... Going towards the lane. Almost was able to cut off. Instead, he's going to hook shot into the middle. But Tumberman's still got a double damage route to play with. Two Dude. hits to swipe away the life of your coder. And our GPK, he's the next on the agenda as well. It might have to be another defensive beat. I've even got the sense that uh, DM had resummoned his familiars too. So even if he does have the buyback, which he does, he'll be the key target for them to look to try and go on if they can take Boxes away that hunt. pipe. Boxy's on the hind. Yamich gets the get initiation the though, but the static storm fall up as well. Matumban's gonna turn to deal with the tiny. They have stolen a decent amount of damage, but Mickey's in the rolling thunder. A bounce back as well. They're gonna try and target down Ramses, completely taking the razor out of the team fight. He's surviving for the moment. They're gonna turn to deal with DM, but the visage just is unable to stay alive. Liquid are too far ahead, and Ramses will not be able to find a way through the what? tree line. They just will go back in the lane, and Virtus Pro have had enough as Liquid. You mentioned that this is a team, whenever they find their victory, Threes, they do it incredibly fast and they've done it here once again a 30 minute game one victory in our last series of the last chance qualifiers very very crisp very clean Matu that's the face of someone that just lost a game not just one <laughs> well face palm but